Kremlin to the podium. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. You're playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in all of us. As you let your own light shine, you unconsciously give other people the permission to do the same. As you are liberated from your own fear, you liberate, your presence automatically liberates others. Sir, I just want to say thank you. Save my life. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, that was a quote from the movie Coach Carter, an inspirational film about a real life coach named Kenneth Carter who coached basketball in a poor area of Richmond, California. He changed the lives of the players on his team, not just on the, on the basketball court, but their lives as well. And the quote was from one of the players who wished to express gratitude for his coach. So how many of you have seen the film? Oh, that's more than I thought. But I haven't. I just happened to stumble upon the video of this quote on YouTube, and it struck a chord with me. It reminds me of Toastmasters and how all of you are my coach Carters, and I'm the player expressing my gratitude. I wish to say thank you because today, on the 14th of February, 2010, I, Tamalu, will complete my Toastmasters Conflict Communication Manual for the first time. <laughs> Last year, I set a goal to finish this manual by my birthday this year, and I made it. When I first set the goal, I had no idea how difficult it would be, because it was just 10 speeches. And at that time, I was in San Diego, just not doing much besides searching for a job and taking classes. And the club I was in was a small club that I regularly had trouble filling speaker spots. So I literally could have spoken at any meeting I wanted to, but I didn't. I did not take advantage of the situation because I was not motivated to, be, to pursue this Toastmasters credential. There was nobody in my club that could inspire me the way that people in this club could. There was nobody there to show me how if I keep pursuing this Toastmaster's goal, I could become more like them. Yeah, anyway, in June, life happened. I got a job in Cerritos, so I had to move away from my club. I took off Toastmasters for around three months as I was adjusting to life back home and adjusting to my eight to six. In late August, I I started visiting clubs again to try to find a club to join. And on September 20th, I joined Master Motivators. I remember the first time I visited, I was inspired because of the Toastmaster of the evening. He had the audacity to say that this club was the world's finest club. <laughs> I'm sure you know, you all know who that is. <laughs> I was inspired because of the way he filled this room with energy that I could, that I had never seen before near the other clubs. So I joined. And in each meeting, I get more and more inspired because of the seasoned Toastmasters teaching the younger Toastmasters, the newer Toastmasters developing so it could help all the incredible people who come in. And I thank you all. Because without all of you, I would not have completed six speeches in just five months. I would not have gone through my common leadership manual 
because I had never even heard of it in my other club. And I guess what I'm trying to say is also that I am here today because I conquered a fear. Conquered a fear of public speaking. I'm not afraid to stand in fear anymore. My speeches may not be perfect, but I'm not afraid. I'm not shaking as much as I did in my first speeches. So, I implore you all to look inside yourselves and find your deepest fears. I know what mine is right now. I'm afraid of becoming an adult. I'm afraid of taking responsibility for what my parents have been doing for all my life. I could not ask the question that Shanna and Lee keep wanting me to ask. I still bank in the same bank and I do not invest because that's what my dad does. And And what I'm afraid of is not just a failure, it's a success as well. Because if I change bank, and if I invest and I do well, then I have to admit to myself that my dad was wrong. Now, for all my life, even though I argue with them sometimes, I always look at him as an authority figure, and he's always supposed to be right and have all the answers. But that's risking success. And I don't want to be wrong either, because then he will laugh in my face and say, I told you so, like most parents, and especially Asian parents do. <laughs> but by not risking either success or failure, I would never know how to invest, and I would never know how to take care of myself. By taking the risk of joining Toastmasters in the beginning, visiting Toastmasters in, in that middle part, and joining this club, despite it having intimidated me so much in the beginning because everybody was dressed so professionally, and me coming out of college never, was never more professional than a sweatshirt and uh, jeans. <laughs> I just, and I lose my spot because I took the chance today of not bringing any notes. <laughs> Despite the fact that I only had one week to prepare for my other speech, and I did not want to lean on my notes today because that was another way of not taking responsibility. Today, I'm depending on what I know and how I could react in the, in the case that I lose my spot and not having a backup to protect me. And that is what I want to share with you today. By taking this chance, I will be one step higher, speaking more like advanced speakers such as yourself. And I encourage you all to do the same. So thank you. Thank you.